So I have a real understanding, having done it and then written about it. Um, verticality is, is not what the automotive industry has done over the years. They used to be vertical, but over the years, they got to the place where, as Elon calls it, they, they buy their products out of a catalog. So, okay, this is where I get my tires, this is where I get my brakes, this is where I get my exhaust, this is where I get, you know. So I pull all these things together and then I put them all together and out the other end comes comes a product. Well, I did that for a while. And what I was finding is, is this guy makes crud product um, and he, he, he won't take responsibility for the fact that he's not doing it well. And this person over here is giving me a great product, but now this product won't fit together with it because he's not mm. doing his job. And then yeah. somebody else can't get the artwork right. And I mean, it's just, I, I was just going nuts. And slowly but surely, I would take over these responsibilities because I wanted the quality. Mm -hmm. Quality was totally what we thought about all the time. So I wanted the quality. So I say, well, I, I can't, you can't do it. I can't find anybody who can. So I guess I have to do it myself. And that's basically what Elon has done. He did not start out to be vertical. He mm -hmm. has looked at it and said, the Russians won't sell me a missile. I'll build one. <laughs> and that has gone throughout the rest of his companies now to where he's yeah. vertical everywhere because it's just better. Um, you save money and you got to be careful because you don't always save as much as you think you're going to because when you eliminate middle people, when you uh, eliminate OEMs, they might have capabilities of scale that you don't have. They might have the ability to work cheaper than you want to work. They might be working in a place that has lower overheads. So there's a lot of things, you know, I might be able to buy it from China cheaper than I can make it myself in my own backyard. So there's a lot of things that go into the equation, but for the most part, I've found vertical just beats all heck, yeah. unless it, it doesn't. <laughs> it looks like the combination of the factories, the product. Yeah. And so what they really are is a company and making the company better and making the factory which is which can make products better then at that point you can make any product you right. want and combine that with speed of innovation you can adapt and change and so vertical integration one example there's probably a million of them right is insurance where then tesla decides right. i'm going to be the insurance car automobile insurance company as well and what how that really makes a difference is because there's a tightly coupled, you know, and it's not two separate companies anymore. If a car gets into an accident, they know because they're tracking would that happen or not. Then they can make changes within the car of where the accident occurred, right? What, what, you know, the famous example of the the planes that went and then they got shot by machine guns and yes. then the ones that return. Right, right. And then they go by looking at it, they go, oh, what? They, it's actually the where the bullets went. They saw that are good. Because right. it didn't make the plane fall, but right. it's the ones where the it's where they did the bullets did not hit. Because if they hit it, the plane would have fallen. Tesla can see that, and right. then they can cha make changes to the manufacturing of the car based on the insurance data. Exactly, and they can bundle the insurance uh, subscription pricing right in, and then they can do things like I'm going to offer safer drivers less. No one else can do that if they're two separate companies. It's exactly. much harder. Exactly. Um, that's just one example. Yeah. Oh, um, no, it's, it goes on and on. I mean, everything that they do yeah. that's vertical, I mean, they wouldn't, because they use first principles thinking, they don't go vertical unless it makes sense under first principles. So they they have not bought, I, I, I wrote a tweet a year and a half ago, two years ago, that I thought that they should buy Firestone. Um, the tires? Mm -hmm. The whole company, okay? Mm -hmm. Because they already had the service centers and they had the mm -hmm. tires. So I why see. not buy yeah. Firestone? Well, they haven't decided that they're going to make tires. They haven't decided that they're, but they have decided they're going to do their own service centers. So, um, you know, you've got, you've got situations where they, nope, the tires, we're not going to get into that business. So, you, so you make those choices, uh, but you, yeah. they clearly have tremendous verticality now. And the other companies are witnessing and they're saying, we have to get vertical like Tesla. Click the link below to get your paperback, Kindle or audiobook now.